Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this simulation, we will see all kind of star in universe. So let's begin. First of all, we have these blue giant star. They are the hottest star in our universe. Their temperature is between 30,000 and 50,000 degrees Celsius. They don't live longer. They, they burn out their uh, hydrogen really fast. Their age uh, between uh, 1 million and the 10 million years, uh, years. And they are the 5 to 100 times more massive than our own sun. And now we have this blue white star. Their surface temperature is between 30,000 and 10,000 degrees Celsius. And their radius is like from start from 2 times more massive up to like one astronomical or two astronomical more massive than our own sun and they came in the b category uh, b class category and now we have these white star their surface temperature is between 10 10,000 to 7500 degrees celsius and their radius is from one to two more massive than our own sun and their mass is also the same one to two more massive than our own star and their lifespan is uh, 1 billion years and they came into the category of a, a star. And now we have these yellow white star. They came into the category of the F star and their surface temperature is between 7500 degrees Celsius to 6000 degree, 6, degree Celsius. And also their mass and the radius is like twice from our sun. And their age is between 2 to 4 billion years. And this is yellow star like our sun. They came into the category of a G star. Their surface temperature is between 6500 degrees Celsius to 5000 degrees Celsius. Their lifespan is almost 10 billion years. And now we have these orange star. These are came into the K category and the temperature of the star has from 5000 degrees Celsius to 3000 degrees Celsius and their mass is like 1 to 2 more than our sun but their radius could be 25 uh, more than our sun and their lifespan is between 15 to 45 billion years. This is a red star. It came into the category of a M class. Its surface temperature is between 4000 degrees Celsius to 2000 degrees Celsius. And it has the mass of 1 to 10 more massive than our sun. And the radius is 1 to 100 more than our sun. And their lifespan could be trillions, trillions of years. And now we have these red giant star. These kinds of star, when the star is dying in their last stage, they like um, burn up their all the hydrogen and they start expanding their outer layers. Like our sun will become a red giant star in next four to five billion years and became a red giant. So these are the red giants. The Betelgeuse also a red giant star. It is the Betelgeuse is on here on the last stage of his life. The red giant star radius could be in astronomical unit like the Betelgeuse had the radius of four astronomical unit. But these kinds of star is not massive. The Betelgeuse star has the mass of just 11 sun. And these are white dwarf star, a remaining core of a dead star like our own sun. They are extremely hot. Their temperature is like up to 20,000 degrees Celsius, but they are smaller than our Earth in size. Like a star, like our own sun, start expanding its outer layers and becoming a red giant. After the red giant, they became the white dwarf. And after the white dwarf star, they turn into a black dwarf star. And these are neutron star, a dense core of a dead star which is 10 to 25 times larger than our own sun. Instead of becoming the black hole, they turn into a neutron star. 
A neutron star is so much dense, even a one spoon of neutron star could be weighed millions of tons and their temperature could be millions, millions of degrees Celsius and also their lifespan billions of years. And these are pulsar. They are basically neutron star but with a pulse because of the radiation, because of the strong magnetic field and rapid rotation speed they start emitting these pulsar these are basically radiation these are magnetars i can't simulate the magnetar star in universe and box 2 so i have these images magnetars are neutron star but with powerful magnetic field these are the strongest magnet in our universe magnetar have the magnetic field more than thousand times of a typical neutron star and finally we have these black hole they are the dense super dense core of a dead star which is uh, massive than our sun 10 to 25 times larger after supernova explosion in a massive star the remaining core um, the core remain and became the black hole the black hole are so dense their gravitational power the gravitational force is so strong that even uh, light can't escape so that's why they are black so this is guys this is all about the stars in your universe i hope you guys enjoy the video and please don't forget to give a like